Good evening, and welcome to Plagued Chess. What we have today is uh, we've taken the game of chess, a game about 1500 years old, and we've changed one rule. Um, and this one rule will alter the game in such a way that it's completely, completely unrecognizable to top tier talent. Um, what we've done is every rule of chess still applies. Uh, they're too lengthy, um, intricate, uh, sometimes boring, depending on who you are, um, to actually go into them. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over what the act one rule change is. So, uh, you know, it's a two-player game. We're going to have um, uh, the clear ones be uh, white and the opaque ones we're going to have be the black set. So the white set, so the clear ones are going to go first. But what we've done is we've taken one piece and we've designated it as a plagued piece. Given its origins, um, in a time where illness was a serious concern, um, the idea of a uh, plagued character that can infect the other side um, and kill them um, is something that I decided I wanted to expand upon. Um, so what I've done is you, each person takes one character and they, any character but the king, and they can designate them as a played character. So for the white set, we've gone ahead, we have the queen. The queen is going to be our played character. And for the black set, we're going to have a pawn be our played character. So what this will end up doing is, at any time, At any time, we can have the played character decide, instead of moving, instead of taking a piece, they can wipe out every square that they touch. So my played character, my little pawn, was right here. So what we've done is, every square that the played character is touching, including your own team, will be wiped off the board. What this allows is an element of strategy that's not currently available in the game. My character, my pawn, while unsuspecting, took out two pawns. But it was still a pawn for a pawn. We still have, I lost two pawns for black, and white lost two pawns. Okay. Those are considered even swaps. So I really haven't done anything special. I've done it in an interesting way, but I haven't done anything special. It does clear out the board a little faster, opens up the game a little bit more. Uh, so now, it's open a little bit. I'm going to make a very aggressive move with my queen. Um, right up to here. Um, in a normal game, uh, you would expect uh, me to be trying to get into the back line, maybe, or suppress some moves. So maybe I'm going to uh, just move one pawn up there as a retaliation. I'm trying to take the queen, I'm trying to bait the queen into being taken. Now what I can do is this character, because the queen, again, is plagued, instead of allowing myself to move into position to be captured by another pawn, I can wipe out both of these characters in a plagued move. I've wasted a queen. <laughs> so, while you might want to let the queen be the plagued character because she has the most mobility, um, you are sacrificing your best piece for, you know, marked death. <laughs> so. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit. Try to do an actual game against myself, knowing exactly where these things are. But we can demonstrate a little more of an actual strategy. Okay? So, 
I will start the game off. Alright, so now I've moved my pawn in a position to take two high-level assets, but it will cost me three pawns. So, I unsuspectingly move to block this pawn, thinking everything's okay. Now the plagued pawn takes out all these at once. So for three pawns, we have a bishop, and we have a knight. That's a good move. <laughs> And completely unexpected. Um, I left my queen a little bit exposed um, with that move. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move my queen a little bit. I'm going to move her over one. All right, because I want to protect my queen. But now, this character is going to be very aggressive. He's come up. He's checked me. Actually, what we'll do is we will move this one first. And then we will move this one. Now we will move the queen very aggressively. Now what this would cause is me to normally move my queen move my queen to take this and now I'm in a position to have the queen be taken. But because my queen is my plagued character I can, at the cost of this one pawn, take the queen right off the board. Now, unfortunately, it's very clear to anyone who's watching that I am not an expert chess player. I haven't played chess competitively in, I don't know, 12 years. Um, but I thought it was, it's definitely something that with uh, a level of intensity that people give to chess, um, it would open up an entire new world of possibilities. Um, uh, and it's just one rule change, and it completely alters what people are thinking about strategically. Um, I thought it was an interesting twist. And I apologize for sounding so out of it. I am so incredibly sick. <laughs> um, so I hope this was coherent, and I hope uh, I was able to explain it well enough. All right. Thank you for watching.